It was a dream come true, wasn't it? No one is born in misery, but more than five decades on this godforsaken earth was enough to put you into a black hole that no one could escape. Not friends, not colleagues, not even family. They all didn't, nay couldn't, understand what it was like to be you, what it felt like to wake up to a world of screaming, selfish rakes every single day. The world wasn't always bad, you insisted. We filthy humans just made it that way, messing with the natural order of things. For these reasons, that day was euphoric. Waking up to a world of silence instead of screaming, a world of nature instead of humans. You were the last man on earth, and you loved it. Running through the empty streets reminded you of your youth, running with no destination in mind, the creek water running between your toes, the feeling of smooth stones against your feet, the sun warming your weathered face. It was glorious. But soon, the very noise you so hated previously didn't seem as noisy. It was strange. It almost seemed musical. The voice of another human seemed like something to be desired, not avoided. You decided that music was the answer. All the batteries you could find were corroded and useless by now, so electronic players were not the answer. All you could find was an old record player, but as the needle touched the record, a crack formed. A large crack. Not even a note was sung before you threw it across the room in rage. No music, no voices, no noise. How long has it been since that day? Eighty, maybe one hundred years? Even when you wanted to die, you couldn't. The rope would snap, the gun would jam, every time. You can't even look forward to waking up to the screaming, selfish rakes anymore. Not even the filthy humans can give you solace. All you can look forward to now is for the sun to expand and for the earth itself to collapse.